it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're doing a quick review of dividing whole numbers and money. It is a review, but I bet you there's one or two things that you're going to pick up in here that you never knew before. I hope so. You ready? Let's get started. Let's first start with uh, giving you some definitions. You know I like doing definitions. So we're going to start with 24, and if we divided it by 2, we know that these numbers have special definitions, and each one is a different one. So the 24 is called the dividend, the dividend. And I like to think of the dividend as the one that's just kind of hanging out there waiting to be divided up. Well, who are they waiting to be divided up by? The second number, which is the divisor, the divisor. And I don't know why, I have got weird things in my head, and I like to think of the divisor as being like this little superhero that walks around dividing things up. Divisor, they do the heavy lifting, so they're gonna need some muscles, they're the divisor. Okay, let's keep it going. 24 divided by two, we know the answer to that is 12, and 12 has a special name, it is called the quotient. Quotient. Okay, dividend, divisor, quotient. Now, here's the interesting, about, interesting thing about division. There are many ways that we can write division, okay? Three in particular. So you've seen one, 24 divided by two equals 12. Let's write 24 and two in a different way. We could also write it like this, 24, and we have our little division bar, and we put our two on the outside. So help me decide here, which one is my dividend? 24 is still the dividend. It's the number that's waiting to be chopped up. And who's doing the chopping? The two, right? The superhero. He is dividing 24 into smaller pieces. That's one way to write it. Here's another way we can write it. 24 divided by two. Now I know you might say, Nicole, hmm, that looks like a fraction. And I would say, yes, you are correct. Did you know that all fractions are division problems? All we're saying is when you see this bar that you normally think of as a fraction, say 24 divided by two. That will help you go a long way in math if you can remember that every fraction is a division problem. 24 divided by two. And which one is our dividend? It's the 24, just hanging out there, waiting to be chopped up. And the two is doing all of the dividing on the bottom. Okay, not bad, right? definitions. Here I've given you an actual division problem, but before we get started, quick test. Which one's the dividend? The 5539. And which is the divisor who's doing the heavy lifting? Six. Okay, I want to continue to quiz you on that because this will save your life in math, I'm telling you. Here we go. <clears throat> We're going to do some division. Six goes into five how many times? Zero times. So we keep going. Does six go into 55? Yes, it does. It goes in nine times. So nine times six is 54. We write it down and we subtract. Five minus four is one. Five minus five is zero. So we don't have to write it. And now you might know that we bring down our three. Some people draw the arrow. Some people don't. I'm just drawing it for you today so you can see. Six goes into 13 how many times? It goes in twice. 6 times 2 is 12. We have 1 left over. Let's bring down our 9. Now we have 19. 6 goes into 19 how many times? 3 times with 1 left over. And we're done. There's nothing else to bring down. So what do we do with this, with this 1? Ah, you might know we call this remainder 1. So our quotient is 926 with a remainder of 1. Now that's fine, you can definitely do division like that. But I wanna show you how to do short division. We call this long division. Let's try some short division. And here's why I like short division. It's shorter. It'll take up a lot less space and it'll begin to train you to do math in your head, mental math. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna write the same problem over here to the side. Here we go, five, five, three, nine. I gave it a little space and you'll see why. Let's do the same process. Six does not go into five, so we keep going. Six does go into 55. It goes in nine times. 
So instead of writing 54 down here, I'm just going to do some math in my head. I'm going to say 55 minus 54 is 1. I've got 1 left over. So I'm going to take that 1 and put it right here next to my 3 and turn that 3 into a 13. Mm, let's keep it going. 6 goes into 13 how many times? 2 times. Let's write it. And we know that that is 12, which means 1 is left over. Okay. Instead of writing that all down, I'm going to take my 1 and write it right next to my 9. 6 goes into 19 three times, which is 18, and 19 minus 18 is one left over. So I'm done at this point. All I have to do, oh, I didn't give myself enough space to write my remainder one, but here we go. Remainder one. Same answer. 9, 26, remainder one. But what is not the same? Look at all the space it took to do this, and look at all the lack of space it took to do that. So. If you can begin to do division in your head, ah, that's a great Nicolism there. Again, I did not come up with this, but I use it all the time to make my life easy. Mental math, ah, you'll just be able to do computations in your head, okay? Now, is it a problem doing it like this? Never. If you still feel like you need to go ahead and write it out the long way, that is okay. At the end of the day, all I want is a correct answer. But try to start doing mental math when you can. Is there anything different that needs to happen when we're working with money? Well, let's take a look. I've got a problem here, four into $37.52. Hmm, well, here's the rule. Do your uh, division as normal, but then we will account for our dollar sign and decimals. Here we go. Four can't go into three, but it can go into 37. Nine times. Nine times four is 36. Okay, let's bring down our five. 4 into 15 goes 3 times, oops, there we go, 3 left over, bring down our 2, and 4 goes into 32, 8 times. Are we finished? No. Here is where we have to account for our decimals and dollar sign. We have a decimal here, we want to bring it just right up and account for it, right above where it was, and now add the dollar sign, which means that our answer is $9.38, so that's the rule. Do your division as normal and account for your dollar sign and decimals. Okay, that is it for you today. How was that for a review on division? Pretty good, huh? Okay, that's it. It's Nicole, and I will see you next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.